so uh, let me move forward with our um, tutorial and uh, and for that purpose i need to create a couple of uh, apis in it so what i'm going to do is let me quickly create uh, some of the things and uh, we can move forward so first we're going to need four packages and i recommend you guys to follow this standard practice uh, all the time so you won't get confused initially and uh, then uh, this is our uh, application thing uh, our main class and uh, here in the root i'm creating new package so i'm going to need three package first one is a controller uh, second one is service and the next is repositories okay and inside controller let me create a class name employee controller and the same way let me add one more class in service name employee service and in one more class in repositories name employee repository and now we are ready to code but uh, before starting co uh, before start coding uh, let me mention one more thing that i forgot actually so i mentioned about uh, schema.sql and data.sql so um, let me create one simple file here in our uh, uh, resource folder and uh, i go new and i can choose uh, there is couple of ways to create let me choose other and uh, I can go with simple file like this and choose a general file and give the extension name SQL or I can choose SQL here and it is showing me this uh, like dedicated SQL uh, and I can give name schema if I hit enter it is asking me to enter query here so uh, from here you can choose query but we don't have an option for h2 here if you see but other database have so here i'm going to write uh, two queries uh, so first thing is a drop table if exists so this is for initialization purpose that uh, we are telling that if this table exists then uh, drop it and the second query is we are creating the table again and uh, we are giving all the details uh, such as uh, so first we're gonna need is a id and that id will be an integer and which is not gonna be null and it will be primary key and it will be auto increment second we're gonna need is first name so first first name and i'm putting it is as a variable character and uh, put 255 so it is uh, we are defining the boundary and it is also not null second is last name same variable character 255 and not null uh, uh, if you want you can increase this limit there is no any limitation but uh, i'm putting 255 for now and the next one is address which is also a variable character and i can put 255 which is also not null and the next uh, we are putting joining date and uh, here we can use a timestamp and uh, i can put uh, something like uh, default value and it will take a system date automatic so i can do something like this okay so this is the schema and uh, if i stop this and if i hit end uh, if i restart the application and uh, let me go to my browser and if i refresh this login and you can see here we have this employees table and uh, here we have id first name last name address and joining date so we define this same way let me put some initial values in it so um, you can use the same file or you can go with this uh, you can create another file name um, which is also gonna be sql file and put a data dot uh, sql and i hit finish and here let me 
insert few values so that value is going to be uh, that query is going to be insert into and uh, employees and uh, a thing is uh, here we have five column but first is the id which is auto increment so we don't need to put it it will start with one automatic and it will go it will be automatically incremented and this joining date we put default as a current time so we don't need to put that one either so what i'm gonna do is uh, i i don't need those fields so here i can do something like this first underscore name then we have last underscore name and then we have address and we're going to use only these three fields and uh, i'm going to put values such as let's say batman and it is uh, home address of batman is batcave so make sure you don't use a double comma here because it is an sql and they have their own uh, standard so if i hit save stop the application and if i restart this so uh, it will run those application and if I go here in my browser and refresh this and I log in if you see here we have employee table and if I hit here it is showing select star from employees and if I run this query I can see Batman and that entry here. So that's how we basically initialize database and uh, sometimes we in actual application it could be huge uh, so many other queries for for so many configuration about database and we can implement here and it will be at the start at the application startup it will be done automatically.